What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to talk about how to avoid burnout being a notary signing agent. Hello everyone, I'm Clarissa. And I'm Lee. And this is The Married Notary Show. Thank you for tuning in. Again, like I said, we're gonna be talking about how to avoid burnout as a notary signing agent. Go straight into it. Number one, don't take signings too far out. Know your geographical area and where you're willing to travel. That will avoid a lot of back and forth. Two, organize your schedule. Make sure you have hard cutoff times. If you say, hey, I'm gonna be working from this time to this time, make sure that is your hard cutoff time, okay? That's gonna be another way to avoid burnout. Number three, you're gonna to commit to taking off at least one day per week. Now, that doesn't include your weekends unless that's the day you normally will work. Commit to taking that one day off. It's gonna help you catch up with your errands. It's gonna help you get things done around the house. It's gonna help you spend more time with your uh, kids and family and things of that nature. So number four, it's gonna be limiting taking last minute signings. Last minute signings are one of the biggest stressors in this industry because you have to stop what you're doing. You hope that everything works. You hope your printer's working. So limit taking those last minute signings that's gonna cause instant anxiety. And number five, it's gonna be learn to avoid or say no to signing companies that cause you stress. Ones that, we understand that uh, some documents are gonna be late. They're gonna be things like that. You know, buyers are gonna change their mind about buying properties. Sellers may change their mind about selling the properties. But if it's a company that continuously always getting you documents laid or not being communicating to you or not being responsive, you wanna avoid those com uh, companies because you wanna have a low stress environment so that you can do well for the companies that are for you and who are communicating well with you and making sure that you're getting those documents for the most part on time. Kind of rolling in from what Carissa said, Another one, which is our sixth one, you want to make sure that you don't take those appointments so close together. So not only are you don't want to take those last minute signings and work with signing companies that stress you out, you also want to make sure that you aren't taking those signings so close. A lot of times people book out, they're trying to maximize profits, but if you try to maximize profits yeah. too much and you book so close, what can end up being an okay day yeah. can turn into being late to every signing after that. Number seven, you want to make sure that you spend more time with loved ones. Yes. And this is very important. A lot of times when we, as business owners, we focus so much on just making money, on yeah. grinding, on all the hustling, oh, I'll sleep, I'll, I'll vacation when I die. You know, there's more to life than that. Right? Okay. You will burn out very quickly. It's like we're on a wheel, like a hamster wheel, just running over and over. Your race never ends. You have to take those breaks. You also have to spend time alone. Not always just spending time with your loved ones, but our eighth one is sometimes you have to spend time yes, alone. Self care. You gotta have some self care. You gotta spend time doing something that you love to do by yourself. Nine, you wanna make sure you save as much money as possible as well. Now the reason for this is because you wanna have a cash reserve yeah. so that you have time to actually take time off. We don't have paid time off like you have in a nine to five job. You wanna make sure that you have the opportunity to take some time off, make sure that the money isn't an issue, make sure your bills are still covered because you don't wanna be stressed while you're on vacation exactly. or while you're taking that time off worrying about, oh man, all the sun is missing, sun is missing. Yeah. It's gonna require some budgeting, but it's very important. At some point, you gotta start putting in money for saving and retirement. Number 10, you wanna exercise. Yes, fitness. And have a good diet. Yeah. It's like anything. If your body is not being fed well, if you aren't exercising, moving it around, eventually you're gonna crash. Yep. And number 11, you want to network with other signing agents and you wanna to go to conferences of some sort. With a regular nine to five job, you get the opportunity to go to training conferences, you get the opportunity to meet other people who are in your industry. Right. You get to listen to these motivational speeches, you get to listen to the trainings that pretty much give you the energy to wanna to do your job again. Yep. You get into that, this, this whole rut of just doing signings, stamping paper, dropping off documents yeah. at FedEx. Can it mundane. can get mundane, yep. it can get boring. You gotta switch it up a little bit. You gotta yeah. get excited. Do some training, do some other things to like some professional development, some personal development, yep. and work with other signing agents and hear what they're doing. Listen, burnout is something that we've all experienced. We're literally just coming out of a burnout season. Yep. Like we had those days where we're trying to find a motivation to just get up and go do a signing. We love yeah. what we do, but there's those days where you're just like, man, I just wanna lay yeah. here. And it's yeah. not that, you know, we're lazy, we're not lazy at all, but you can be burned out. And so there's a difference. And that's why we want to get you guys this information because these are things that we implement daily so that we don't get to that burnout or that rut. So we're going to give you a bonus, okay? Yeah. This is really important as well. So again, burnout is a serious thing. Mental health is extremely important yes. no matter what job you're doing. Yep. Yep. So have you some friends and some loved ones you can talk to. Don't shoulder the burden to yourself. Yep. The mental health is real. If you need to get a therapist, anything you need, talk to your pastor, whatever faith you may have, 
just have someone you can talk to and don't internalize all those feelings yourself because in the end, your mental health is one of the most important things that's gonna help you be successful in this business. If you want a, a, a recap, we threw a lot of stuff out. We're gonna make you just rewind the video, all right? We're not gonna throw <laughs> 11 <laughs> different Point reasons. Statue. But we gave you 11 ways to avoid burnout that we found has been pretty beneficial for us. And you know, we hope you enjoyed the video. Till then, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you, YouTube. We love you guys. Peace.